Namaste, my dear friends. A lot of people ask us why in our Vini Yoga tradition we emphasize a lot on the teacher-student relationship. Now this is mainly because in the Vini Yoga tradition we are not just emphasizing on teaching of techniques but rather encouraging people to have a connection to themselves and therefore a connection to other people. That's why my father defined yoga as a relationship, a relationship to oneself, a relationship to others, a relationship to the nature and the universal spirit. For that, we need a modeling, and that model is the ideal teacher-student relationship that is based on a good heart-to-heart -heart connection where there is honesty and integrity and certain moral and ethical boundaries that govern this. A teacher-student relationship must not be based on fear from one side or the other, must be based on mutual respect and mutual openness and honesty. If we cannot feel safe in the teacher-student relationship, we will not be able to learn yoga because yoga is a transformation process and we need to be open for this transformation process. A teacher-student relationship should have a certain distance but at the same time a certain proximity. We must neither be too distant to our students nor be too close. We must maintain an appropriate distance so that there is respect and clarity. When you look at certain things too close you cannot see clearly. When it's too far you cannot see clearly. That's why the distance between teacher and student must also be appropriately close but at the same time at a safe distance. A teacher-student relationship must also have certain moral and ethical principles based on which we have to relate with each other and there is no greater example for this than the Yamas and Niyamas of the Yoga Sutra. What is important is that there is mutual respect, mutual honesty and a mutual light that we share so that we grow together. Without these things, it is impossible for us to move forward in the path of yoga. So please, my dear friends, find a safe teacher with whom you can connect and learn in the most appropriate way so that your journey in yoga will be one of elevation rather than one of fear and closed, closeness and heaviness. So please, my dear friends, think about this with an open mind. And there is no perfect relationship between yoga teacher and yoga student. You cannot govern it by one set of rules because each individual is different and the relationship will be different. That's also why there can be no professional rules about yoga teacher student relationship because those set of standards are not easy to follow. But there must be definitely ethical and moral guidelines that cover this sacred relationship. Namaste, my dear friends.